Well, there we go. It's another one, eh? I told you I'd try and get one out. Now, I'm on my walk. Um, I've not done this walk before. I think I did a lot two years ago, 15 years ago, um, when I used to live over this end with my dad once. But, now, I want to show you something. Oh, I can't see from here. I'll walk along in a minute. Um, over there, right in the horizon, which you probably can't see, it's way past those pylons. Here's the maps we used to be able to see on Langley Park. You can see the rest of the, the Down Valley. Now, unfortunately, this camera doesn't exactly zoom in, which is actually, it's actually a lot bloody closer. You can see the, the other side of the lens. Now, that thing up there, you cannot see it, which is actually about five times bigger than you can see it on here. This pop up pipe television mast. Uh, I'll go on for a bit of a walk. Now, I've just popped into uh, the graveyard of the local church. There were a few people there that, um, you know, buried there that I know. God. One set of my grandparents. Um, I've got a friend who was, um, used to be a mate of mine, best mate's um, fiance. Um, knew she was about 14 or something. And about what, 12 years ago? Well, 94 when she was murdered. She was uh, really raped and murdered, and it was a really big case in all the news up and down the country. And she's buried that brave graveyard, you know, so I haven't popped in for about 10 years. And you do feel a bit, you know, shameful when you do that, but again, I haven't lived around here for a while. And when I did, I didn't have the opportunity. But now, I've got the opportunity to do all that stuff. Now, you see, it's weird, isn't it, when you go to a grave? Um, some people believe the person can hear them. Other people believe that it's more you're doing it for yourself. Some people think, well, maybe they're heavenly. I don't actually fucking know, right? I don't profess to be a theoretical, sort of theological bloke, you know. I know a bit about theology and it's a hobby and that, but I haven't made my mind up. Can I hear us? I'd like to think so, but I doubt it. I think you're talking to yourself, really. And if I'm truthful, when I'm standing there talking to whether it was my grandparents or Claire, Claire Barrett, the person I'm talking about, um, I get the feeling I'm talking to myself. Maybe that's because I'm not, not a believer in big religions and stuff like that. But uh, I don't know. I'll have to see. I'll have to keep my eyes up because I don't know how busy this track is. It's a little bit daft me talking into the bloody phone. I feel go past. But yeah, it's um, the death of uh, Claire actually changed a lot of people. Because she's one of those people, they're a bit like myself at the time, we're what I call a network hub. We were the people who had any, everybody's phone numbers. That if there was anything, anything nights out to be organised, any big events for friends, we were the people who had all the numbers. Nobody else bothered to keep anybody else's numbers. So it was a massive hit when Claire was taken out of the equa equation. Um, now I'm guessing that the bastard responsible will be due out within the next five years. My advice to him would be: do not show your face in concert. Because there's plenty of people, unlike me, who are violent men and have long memories. Um, and if you knew what happened, and no, I'm not going to go into details, um, I think everybody would react the same. But yeah, well, we're coming up to what they laughingly call, called the, uh, the Transformers. <laughs> Big metal robots, metal sculptures that are made. Now, I'll try and show you them as I'm walking along. I'll leave it put up by the local council. To, uh, I'm not sure why. I thought it was a really good idea. So what did is, when the old steelworks was torn down, a few years later, after this railway track was torn up, they took these bits and got a sculptor to make these big guys out of them. There's one there, there's one over there with a giant nose on them. The kids loved them, of course. I think they're bloody brilliant. Well, the sky is playing up there. You see, it's a lovely view. See, I've missed this. The last what I did, right, I've got two videos up on that like, since I moved here. The first one was um, when I'd, you know, just doing that walk, basically around a load of sort of country roads, but not as quiet as Langley Park used to be. Um, the other one was in my front room, because I'd had two thousand, which incidentally still hurts, and I probably really shouldn't be drinking a bottle of Coke. Wouldn't have any load, probably. But uh, apparently, we're four miles away from Bird Field. Miles away from concert, it doesn't bloody tell you. Typical, isn't it? No, but um, sitting for a bit. Um, 
I needed a bit of a bit of time. See, I'm still trying to find um, my inspiration. I really am. I'm having, I'm having immense problems. I don't know whether it's because there's still like the bathroom and things are sorted and the leaks in the house, which waiting for work and you know <laughs> it takes me to get them out. Sometime in the next week or two, or a week and a half, we should have it all sorted. And then we can get down to putting the because we can't sort the bathroom out because of the leak. It's water's pouring down one column when it rains because the plaster and everything's all damp. I don't know whether it's that. I don't know whether it's the woolly or the stress of the move. I don't know if it's just a natural thing. Now, normally, when I do these sort of breaks away from the net and stuff like that, it actually helps massively. It was an idea of Glen Southerns. Um, I'm actually going to get in contact with them. Let's pause this. Yeah, anyway. Um, we'll talk again later today because we've. Um, we discussed last, between the, after the last one, you know, and that, uh, before the last one, about closing sub D. And it's closing down. Now, we're tr I'm desperately trying to organise um, some of the users of sub D and one of the moderators, Thomas, who worked for Pixelogic France, to try and save some of the valuable information. People who came up with some really interesting ideas that are impractical. Uh, the, the first one was. Uh, one of my favourites, which I'm not, I'm not getting at people here, right? Because to be honest, people don't know. That we've, although we post a reason, there's certain things we can't explain fully for legal reasons. Um, suffice to say that we don't no longer have access to the FTP server. We can't do anything with the site at all. We couldn't just simply back it up and give it to somebody else. Because somebody said, "Well, why don't you give it to CG Talk?" Well, CG Talk, I've never exactly been. Um, what's the word? Because I've got some very big lawyers, by the way. The CG Talk sort of guy. Well, not guys anymore. It's a corporation that bought it out. Did you know that? I bet you didn't. He used to be owned by a couple of Australian lads. The mate of mine knew. Anyway, um, they haven't exactly been supportive of either myself, Glenn, or Sub D, you know, since it started. Um, so, they wouldn't get, you know, they're not gonna, nobody's getting control of Sub D. It's a very big name site. It's taken a long time to build up, uh, and Glenn's name is directly, resulted, you know, linked to it. And there is no way in hell that that's getting given away. One, we wouldn't be able to anyway because Wes Beckwith from Curve still owns 50%. Um, when me and Glenn left Curve, um, you know, I started, you know, basically said the words, and I said, you know, for me anyway, I know what I said. I just said, look, that's it, end of sort of thing. He wasn't too happy. Uh, which explains why I haven't been paid still. Um, then before we know it, all the passwords have been changed on the server because Wes was paying for the server, you know, and um, that was it basically. We're buggered, you know. Life just um, from that point. Once we start getting hacked and stuff, we simply haven't got the time. Um, there's another what five or six days left to back everything up, and that's it. After that, you know what's gone is gone. Um, I don't want people having recrimination. Well, I feel like you could do more. Well, yeah, we probably could have had you know a full day every day to do this, and you know do not do it, but I haven't. Neither did Glenn, and we can't simply just put somebody else in charge because Glenn's name is linked so. Uh, stringently that site because if you give it to somebody you don't really know you know what we're going to do with it and all of a sudden um, it can bring you know shame onto Glenn's name if you know what I mean um, somebody's had a good run very good run I think that's about good enough isn't it Let's see how much we've got to do. well I'm going to shut this down in a minute now because uh, it's getting rather busy along here and I'll do another one uh, in a bit alright I'll do part two see you in a minute